Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain how to code the BCD adder which we have seen in the previous video. So the block diagram and explanation of this BCD adder we have seen in the previous uh, video. So BCD adder VHDL code. I told you already whenever we are writing a VH, um, VHDL code first of all you should write two lines. Two lines they are first one is library library i triple this line is this line is common for all the vhdl codes because all the packages we are taking from the i triple library only so use i triple e now which one we are taking i triple dot std underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all this is the general common package which we use regularly along with that we also consider in this particular program depends on the uses of internal um, programming parameters the corresponding package should be called here so use i triple e dot std underscore logic underscore unsigned because whenever we are performing a direct addition plus we have to use this unsigned unsigned dot all that means all the library libraries involved in this unsigned package will be coming here and again use i triple e <coughs> dot use i triple e dot std underscore logic underscore numeric dot all so these are the two different uh, two new packages we have to call here for the successful operation of this bcd adder so now entity entity bcd adder underscore bcd adder you should not uh, split the name of entity into two words so this is a single word bcd adder is is port of a comma b in unsigned unsigned three down to zero three down to zero here we are taking a and b as unsigned numbers instead of taking std logic or any bit we are taking them as unsigned binary format because whenever we are performing addition it should be clearly understood that these two numbers are unsigned carry in carry in in std logic std logic and sum out unsigned out unsigned 3 down to 0 3 down to 0 carry out a steady logic and bcd adder okay now coming to the main part of this vhdl code architecture architecture some behavioral of bcd adder is begin so here we are writing the code in behavioral model so process process and here in the process we have to take the instances instances means inputs a b a b no semicolon here process a b and we are taking some variable this is variable declaration variable some temporary variable some temporary some unsigned 4 down to 0 4 down to 0 see here we are taking a temporary sum variable 
because variable why it is variable because it is every time changing its value for the a not b not one a one b one a two b two a three b three so as the number of bits are keep on rotating the sum temporary sum value will be changed updated okay that's why it is sum temporary and unsigned it is the size of five bit because because when we add two four bit numbers the result may be a five bit okay so begin begin sum temporary colon equal to see this is variable declaration variable should be written colon equal to signals may be less than equal to okay for variables constants it should be colon equal to colon equal to see sum temporary is of 5 bit now we are adding a b and c a b and c carry in okay this is a binary adder first we need to perform 4 bit addition 4 bit addition but as after addition of a and b you may get 5 bit number 2 4 bit number addition may give 5 bit number also that's why we are first taking a 5 bit temporary signal and now we are adding a and b but when you add a and b directly suppose i am taking a here plus and b plus carry in carry in let us consider this is the actual expression a plus b plus c in. but a is of 4 bit size b is of 4 bit size and carry in is of 1 bit size if you go to the entity you can understand see a b are of 4 bit size and c in is of 1 bit size so size compatibility is not there definitely if you write like this directly you will get an error okay so compatibility sh should be there on the left hand side variable to the right side right side variable the number of bits should be same but how to increase the size of the a a is uh, determined it as four bit number in the entity and b is also defined it as four bit number c in is a single bit number but how to increase the size of the a how many bits we need to add for a and b one bit for c four bits so we need to concatenate we need to concatenate one zero in front of a one zero in front of a again we need to concatenate a zero in front of b and similarly we need to concatenate four zeros which is a word four zeros to the carry in this symbol ampersand symbol represents the concatenation concatenation is nothing but joining concatenation is nothing but joining here it is a comment i am writing a comment here it, this pro comment will not run in the program okay so otherwise it is like this comment a comment in vhdl is a like this okay uh, here ampersand represents represents concatenation 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 or nothing but joining joining so zero zero ampersand a is equal to suppose a is of zero one one zero then it is zero zero one one zero this is the result hope you understand what do you mean by concatenation see when you just join zero to the a in front of a it does not violate the original meaning of a a is six only a is uh, uh, six only then even if you add zero in front of it it is a six okay that's why just we are adding zero to is increase the size then it will be a five bit size then it will be again five bit size and again this is also five bit size so that on the left hand side we have five bit on the right hand side we have five bit there is no problem in the size of the variables now after addition what we need to check whether the result is greater than 9 or not okay i hope you know the operation of the bcd adder which we have discussed in the previous video okay so if some temporary if some but temporary is greater than 9 is greater than 9 then then carry is less than equal to 1 carry is equal to 
1. Now sum is equal to sum is equal to resize resize sum temporary plus we need to add 6. comma 4 after resizing see here what is the meaning of this line is we are adding 6 to the result this is the result sum temporary is the result and this is the 6 when we are adding if sum is greater than 9 if sum is greater than 9 then we are adding 6 to the result then we are adding 6 to the result and making carry is equal to 1 okay and what we are doing we are parallelly doing the resize resize means this particular 5 bit number will be now bring down to the 4 bit number this is the place where we are saying we need a 4 bit number else that means if the result is not greater than not greater than 9 else carry is equal to 0 carry is equal to 0 and now the final sum sum is equal to sum temporary if, uh, if carry is not generated and result is grad not greater than 9, then what happens? Simply, we are taking the number 3 down to 0 from the sum temporary. Higher order was uh, 0, MSB left. So, end if, end process. So, whatever we have taken, all should be ended. End process, end architecture. Architecture, whatever we have taken here, end behavior and behavioral okay this is the vhdl program for the bcd adder vhdl program for the bcd adder thank you